Good evening, guys. Um, I've had a not a slow day, but not really a productive day either. I've only potted around the flat. Not scope in the background. <laughs> yeah, I've only potted about the flat and. Uh, <clears throat> Excuse me, I've still got cold, so I'm coughing my lungs up, you'll know why. Yeah, where was I? Oh, yeah. I was just popped around the flat, I've cleared that table, got some items up on eBay, had a bit of a clean up in here, started in the bedroom, then couldn't be asked. <laughs> so I've done a bit in the bedroom. That computer's got to be taken apart, because I'll see if I can sell the parts on eBay. Because I know for a fact that motherboard is good. So, that's why I've never found any memory. I've probably got more com <coughs> computer memory than I <coughs> think, because I keep leaving it in machines. Ooh, that's a 512 as well. Yeah. Definitely keep that. I don't have a lot of spare memory, so I can't include it with the motherboards, unfortunately. I need what little I've got. Go up there. It's a good way of treating your memory, isn't it? Just throw it in the cupboard. <laughs> yeah, I don't recommend that's how you treat your own memory. <clears throat> um, I'm going to go through these motherboards and uh, thin them out because I've got loads. I think there's one in that case. I think that's an XP machine which I made dismantle. I think that's what I put on it. I'm going to have to set it up and uh, have a look. The one with the silver front, I mean. Not the one with the blue bits, the one with the silver. Because uh, I'm having a bit of a thinning out session. Ooh. I bet them bloody fans will not fit that bell, because I bet they're a different connector. Just to be awkward, I bet that's what Dell have done. <sighs> a few bits to take out of this. Um, I'm just having a, a bit of a thin out with the computers, because I don't need half of what I've got, actually. I only really need a few motherboards as spares. Uh, so there's a lot in here I could get rid of. Even the categories. <laughs> uh, so them three definitely keep. I do believe that one with the blue on the front is my Windows Millennium, so that stays. That's the Mac server, that stays, and the Dell in the corner stays. Uh, that one might go. I may, if there's a motherboard in it, I may leave it in there, depending what it is. I've got three under the um, worktop in the kitchen. I've got to go through. But first, I need to run some color nature, so uh, I'll be right back. Okay, back. I don't know what I've eaten, but my guts don't don't like it, it seems. Anyway, while I was sitting on the throne, a thought struck me. So I was actually thinking about computers. And I don't know why, but the toilet is always like your think tank, isn't it? Or it is for me, anyway, you know, I think about lots of things when I'm in there. And I just happen to be thinking about old um, computers and Apple and Microsoft. And I think something has dawned on me why Apple products might actually be a bit more expensive than um, Microsoft PCs. Because um, one of the big differences between Microsoft and Apple as a company, Microsoft just produces software. They just produce the operating system. Whereas Apple will not only produce their own operating systems for both, you know, their desktop PCs, uh, laptops, phones, and 
tablets, but they also produce their own hardware, so they produce their own P, you know, their own computers, their own laptops. I don't know if that is why Apple charge so much, because they they build both, and you can only use their stuff with theirs, um, which also means um, no, not also means that will also explain why Apple PCs are not very upgradable. You might be able to upgrade the RAM, but I did hear they're soldering RAM to the motherboards now. I don't know if that's true or not, that's just something I saw on YouTube. But um, it's a bit like a Dell PC, you know. Pre-built PCs, you can't really upgrade those that much. You might be able to stick a bit of extra memory in there and a different video card and upgrade the processor a little bit, but that's about as far as you can go, unless you stick your own motherboard in there. But um, I think the reason companies like Dell and Apple do that is so the customer base would then have to go and buy a new PC or, upgrade, or trade in their old PC for a new one when their old one becomes out of date. You know, that's how they rely on making their money. So, I know I used to bash Apple, but I suppose they're using their brains in a sense there. Even if I do still think their their products are a little bit on the expensive side. But uh, yeah, that was just a random thought I had while on the shitter. <laughs> if you agree or disagree, then feel free to leave it in the comments. Uh, fucking nose. <laughs> well, at least my sinuses aren't bloody aching. Well, I've just got a nose where one nostril blocks and one is free to breathe through it, and then it swaps. <laughs> At the moment, I can breathe through my left nostril fine. Um, anyway, what I did Saturday, um, I got the trailer painted, so it's no longer out front. It's sitting round back, locked to the railings. I don't think anyone would actually run off with it, but you never know in this day and age. Um, there's a cone at the front of it, so no one trips over the tow bar. It's nowhere near the footpath, but you know what some people are like. They can be clumsy, so I'll put a big blue road cone right in front of it. If they can't see that underneath the outside lights round back, then they've got to be fucking blind, but... There you go. <laughs> uh... So that's painted up. I need to fit some lights to it as well, which is why I've got those on the bed, because I want to fix those to it somehow. I've got a few ideas and a few options. I could, A, make one either side of the trailer on the axle, on the box section of the axle, or I could put a couple of metal L brackets that you can get from any hardware store they don't cost a lot, and um, screw those to the tailgate and then bolt these lights to that. I'll probably have to drill the hole a bit bigger, but that's another option. Or, I could put a wood piece of wood along the bottom of the trailer, underneath, and then screw it to the board, and then screw those to the piece of wood. Which would actually save drilling metal and whatnot. Because uh, I need, I want to keep it so I can actually open the tailgate. So ideally, I want to avoid putting them on the tailgate. Um, plus, if I stuck the lights on the box sections of the axle either side of the trailer, that would indicate to other road users that it's wider than a normal bicycle. Um, but I could also do the same thing if I stick a piece of wood just underneath the rear of the trailer. And, um, mind you, before I do that, I might as well put a new floorboard in the trailer, because it's rotten to shit. I wonder if I could use those old sides, I don't know. But, um, those old sides, well, there's a couple of old sides for one a bookcase like this, leaning up by the weedy bins outside here. But, um, they're made out of that bloody recycled chipboard shit. 
and as soon as that gets wet it just flakes so they're not going to be good as a floorboard it won't last five minutes I need something that's solid wood either solid wood or well, I've got some ply but that's a bit too thin really ain't going to last long either Mind you, that one that's in the trailer has lasted hmm, four years? I think I put that in about four years ago, maybe longer than that. So, <laughs> it's been sitting out front in all weathers, getting covered and filled up with wet leaves from the tree. That's the other, that's one reason at the moment I'm not too keen on putting it back out front. I want to leave it around back for as long as possible, or until someone complains about it. <laughs> just so it doesn't fill the leaves because that's a pain in the ass. but these lights I'm not going to run from a dynamo I'm either going to run it from this battery or one of these not this exact one because this one's getting low anyway that's the one I use when I'm playing around with my lamps that's why it's actually gone flat because I've left it in a lamp and left it running for a while um, or I've got this one which is a good rechargeable lead acid battery that might be better because it might have a bit more oomph in it. Was well, a four amp hour battery? That probably would last longer than one of these. Actually, and I can just recharge it. Does it actually? It's mercury cat. Zero percent mercury cadmium. Extra heavy heavy duty. Used by C Base. The third, twenty fifteen. I wonder if it's starting to go dead then. I bought this new this year, well I want a very long friggin' day on it. Well, that sucks. Produced by, oh, I can't read it, something limited. London. Well, it doesn't actually give you the rating on it. Oh well. I still think I'd be better off with the rechargeable one. Um, according to my meter, it was charged, but I'll stick a lamp on there later and have a look. Because you, you never know. It might say charged when it's not under a load, but it might be different when it's loaded. Ow, I fucking road code. That's three times today I've tripped over the pissing thing. One of these days, I will remember to take it down and put it in the shed. And then I won't trip over it. Well, I wanted to do a video when I got home from Mum's last night, which was uh, Sunday, Sunday the 20th. Today is Monday the 21st. Well, what's left of it? We've got about an hour and a quarter left of it. <laughs> uh, but uh, because of my cold, I actually felt rather rough for most of the day. I wasn't too bad when I woke up yesterday, but... For some reason, yesterday afternoon when I got to Mum's, until about 2.30 in the morning when I went to bed, I felt really, really rough. And just drained. But it might have been as well because I didn't sleep very well the last two nights. I slept like a lot last night, actually, because I could actually breathe through my nose. Probably with the company of the house spider somewhere, because it was running around in here somewhere. I've got pet spider. They don't bother me as much as they used to, to be honest. I keep thinking about it and I keep thinking, why am I scared of a friggin' house spider? You know? They don't then they give you a little nip sometimes, if you wind it up and, you know, provoke it. But um they can't kill you. They can't really hurt you. You know, it's probably more scared of you than you are of it. Hence why they run a mile when you try and poke them or something. Or try and catch them, just like anything would. They'd run a mile. So, I just keep... I think that's how I keep get, I'm slowly getting over my fear, because I keep telling myself, what am I scared of? But, uh, that's the best way to actually um, combat a phobia, is to face it. But... Don't go jumping in at the deep end. You know, I would say to someone with arachnophobia, go out and hold a bloody grip. Huge tarantula or something. Might work. But I would say the best option is just to introduce yourself to your phobia slowly. 
Anyone. There are lots. Well, I say lots there. It's mostly just a bit of a tidy up around here. Uh, yeah. I could hear the um, maintenance team clanging the bins around over there, but I'm not sure if they were putting things in. Or if it was just the fact they uh, were tidying them up, because they're, they're all round there, all lined up nice and tidy, you know. But, uh, I can't see, because I've got no friggin' window in that wall. Not that would matter, because I'd have all this Lego in the way, anyway. Which, uh, I've actually upgraded that to 100 watt. And, uh, that actually looks a little bit dimmer, that one, so I think that's a 75 watt. Um, where's that? <coughs> Excuse me. I had 60s in them before, but I uh, figured I did need something brighter because I do the set reviews for the Lego channel on there as well, and I needed some a bit more light, so I upgraded the bulbs. Could do with another hundred in there. I'll buy one when I get the chance. That'll do for the time being. Now <coughs> I've got a few bits on eBay. I've got some motherboards to sort through and put those on eBay because no doubt someone will find a use for them. And they want one to replace in their old PC that they keep going, you know, you never know. Video uploading. Oh, someone replied. <laughs> I'm gay. Cough would fuck off though. People on YouTube make you laugh. He calls me an asshole, but yet he's the one that started on me by calling me a... What was it? Well, actually, I'm not going to repeat it on camera, because I don't like that word myself, but it begins with C and ends in T. There's a word in front of that, and I can't remember what he used now. But yeah, I'm the asshole for retaliating. <laughs> Makes sense. Well, because he replied to a comment of mine that was, uh... Um, post of years ago, what the? Need a classic wheel for a car, you know? Massive pile of vintage cars. I'd actually say that was vintage car parts, personally. Wheels, because I can see an axle and leaf springs in there. I don't know if them leaf springs are going to be any good now. Probably not. <laughs> ah! It must be night time because the cough has started. <sighs> I swear it's every time. You know, it gets close to your bedtime. Yes, that your cough will kick up, or you'll start sneezing, or something like that when you've got cold. What do you suppose blowing my nose might get rid of some of the crap that's uh, causing the cough?
actually pretty quiet outside tonight. Then again, it's Monday night, it's cold, it's wet, although it has stopped raining, it's pissing it down earlier. But it, whoop, but it has stopped raining. Uh, yeah, I need to find a base for that. Street light. But I knew I kept that out for a reason. I want to uh, light up the buildings as well. You know, because then I'll be able to combine both my interests, or two of my interests. Lego and electrics. <laughs> Not necessarily electronics, just anything electrical. Especially if it lights up. <laughs> uh, as one of my friends has actually said before, I've got a fetish for lights. <laughs> uh, but apparently, people with Asperger's syndrome and autism can have um, an obsession like that. That's about the only reason I bought this, is just because it lights up and flashes. I probably won't ever use it for its intended purpose. <laughs> well, I suppose I could use, put it up here, you know, and use it as a disco light. Which I have to say, the visibility of that is actually pretty good. When you move around it like this, <coughs> There is areas where it gets a little dimmer, though. But, uh, the cheapest I've seen them for individually on eBay is nine ninety nine, and I got that for four ninety nine out of my local Roy's store. And I wouldn't mind if I can actually afford it next time I get paid, and if Roy's have got any left, is to get at least another one. So I've got a pair of them, because, uh, to be honest, I'd feel safer with something like that flashing away on my bike trailer, especially at night, and if I've got, like, a bike laid across it or something. Um, just so if someone hit the trailer or something, and they turn around and say, well, I didn't see you. Well, I've got two fucking bright red lights on the back and a flashing orange light. What more do you fucking want? I'm going to put a big reflector back on the back of it. <coughs> Excuse me. I've got a couple of them. Um, these were on it originally. <coughs> I've got a couple of these um, reflectors. I don't think I really need to put both on. But uh, I think that square in the middle would be good enough bit of extra uh, visibility. Uh, technically, by law, trailers in the UK have to have one of these, but I think that's just um, trailers towed by cars. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I'm still... It's, I'm only going to put that on because it's just a matter of putting two screws through there. Because the um, tailgate of my trailer's got a wooden board in it, so I can just boink straight to the back. A lot easier than a bicycle reflector. <coughs> That's the only reason I'm putting that on. And it's a lot bigger and more visible. So, uh, you know, I want the bike and the trailer to be noticed. So I will be putting front side lights on the trailer as well, as well as the two rear. When I found something suitable. of old bicycle LEDs or something. Or at least one on the outside of the trailer. You know, just as a marker light. Um, well, suppose I could... I was actually thinking of using a front dynamo light um, mounted at the front of the trailer as a um, sort of a light that lights up the inside of the trailer so I can see what I'm doing at night time. As it's getting dark, you know, I may end up doing some shopping in the dark. I don't know. I've got the lights under there I'm not using, so I could make use of them in other ways. It'd be easy enough to do. I've got the bloody switches to do it with and whatnot. So, if I use that 6 volt battery, um, there won't be a lot of weight added to the trailer. 
I was just going to make a little box in the corner at the front to put the battery in with a um, lid that opens and closes just to try and keep some of the wet off and uh, put the switch inside it as well a couple of clips got a couple of crocodile clips over here actually I can use just to clip on the top of the battery so uh, yeah Bob's your uncle really isn't it got a couple of these and just clip on top of the battery simple electrics I think the trickiest part would actually be running the cables down to the lights at the back but I could just wire, wire them in parallel or I could just run a single power cable to the back of the trailer and then just spur off from a connector block or something Uh, which I may use a small one of these and you're probably thinking why but I will keep the water off the connector block because uh, I'll get a lot of water spray during winter from you know from the wheels underneath and, that'll, and being under the trailer it's going to get damp so I think something like that would um, at least make the connections last longer <clears throat> that's what I was thinking of it'll be hidden under the trailer so it doesn't really matter and I've got plenty of them I doubt I'll use them for anything else so it'll be used for that project I keep wandering about and wandering about I do believe right that's a DDR board uh, <laughs> no idea who makes it though well, it's tested to, to comply with FCC standards for home or office use uh, oh this one's missing a, a um, clock battery <clears throat> that one's got that's a DDR2 with a PCIe board but I can't so I'm scratching my eye <laughs> oh look there's a topless man in the window oh scary yeah. I'm not sure what to do with it not yet let's get a bit of light on the bed shall we actually last time I did this I had a spider running around <laughs> so I might track it out with the light uh, and I got this one I actually like this one so I think this one's actually going to be a definite keeper although it's only got two SATA connections on it uh, it's got that built in SPDIF socket I think ooh surround sound as well um <coughs> an AMD process, it's an ASUS board ASUS? is it pronounced ASUS or ASUS? someone help me out there I've always pronounced it ASUS but I've got a terrible feeling that's wrong <laughs> uh, I'm not going to put anything else on eBay tonight I've got half a dozen bits on there for now I'm going to take the motherboard out of that and put that on tomorrow red boards, I don't want to get rid of red boards, I like red ones <laughs> ah, this one's a keeper. It's got five SATA connectors. Lots and lots of other headers. Yeah, that one's a definite keeper. And looking at the heat sink, I would say that's an Intel processor. It's got weird. It's got firewire on it as well. Oh, external SATA connectors too. Six USB. Yeah, that's a definite keeper, that one. I know all these boards work because um, I've had them work. I've tested them all when I first got them. I think I did put a video up. Uh, what's this one then? Oh, that's an old MSI um, sort of XP 
PE style board. Uh, takes an AMD processor socket 462. It's got two SATA connections on it. <clears throat> I don't know, that's maybe. I don't know if it's worth keeping that one. Uh, I think that one's the crappiest out of the ones I've got, so that'll probably go. I don't know whether to try and sell them individually. Or just stick them on as a job lock. Ah, oh, I've got a fan in the way. How are we doing for time? We've still got a few minutes left, according to the clock. Oh. <clears throat> Ooh. Pretty certain that's a single core AMD in there. Yeah, that's another sort of XP stroke Vista type board. Is that an Asus as well? I can't remember. <coughs> yep, an Asus. An Asus. It's not the best motherboard on the planet, so I think that can go. I don't know what processor in it is, though. What the hell is this fucking thing? It's got a P4 slot on it. Hmm. It's an HP. Uh, four memory slots, two channel. Dual channel. Hence the two different colours. <coughs> uh, it's got a button down. <coughs> oh, for fuck's sake. A button on there as well. Between the um, SAR connectors. Uh, I can't be asked with it. <laughs> That's the for sale board. I'll try them individually at first, and if that don't work, this gigabyte one I'm going to keep. Just because it's a smart blue. <laughs> and I know Gigabyte are good. I didn't have any more Foxcons because I know they're good boards as well. DDR400. That? Oh, this one's an ASRock. Uh, yeah, it's a P4 board, but I do believe I had trouble... Finding some drivers for that. Um, that will be a definite um, keep as a spare for the XP machines. What's the next one? Oh, I know what one this came out of. I'm pretty certain this came out of. that PC up there, the beige one, so I do need to keep that one. <clears throat> I've got to give in the keep pile. What's that one? Oh, that's another Asus one, I think. Another. Well, that actually looks like a video socket on there. Um... I don't know what that was. Something just rolled off this month the floor. It might have been a bug. I don't know. It's an Asus. Well, I'm not too keen on Asus boards, so... Um, let's go check the caps, make sure they look alright. Yeah. Um... Better go through it and check what processor it's got on it, because I'll include that. <coughs> Horrible colour to choose. Uh, but that's what Asus did back then. I'm not a love of the green either. If I was going to choose a motherboard because of the colour, it would either be blue or red. <laughs> One or the other. 
Alright, we've got a couple more. That's a Foxconn. And that looks like DDR. P4 socket. That'll be another good one to keep as a spare XP board. <coughs> that, and as I said before, I do like Foxconn boards. <coughs> Last one. There you go. Got a stick of friggin' memory in it as well. Where is it? 256 megabytes. Oh. Well, it's got a far wire on it as well. Cooler master fan. Ooh, good fan. I'll just lay it down here. That's a good XP one. It's a large XP one. I think I'll keep that one as well. So, so far this is pretty much the keep pile. Uh, I haven't decided on this. I know it takes an AMD... I sort of... I think I'll keep that one. I've got to find a clock battery to put in this. I've got plenty of... That's an AMD one as well. Hmm. I may be able to find heat sinks to go with some of these as well. Uh, <laughs> that's a gigabyte. With four SATA connections. Uh, so, I'm going to give myself a choice. I'm going to keep one more. Do I get rid of both of these? <clears throat> well, I don't have very many spare boards like that. Uh... I'll put, what I'll do, I'll put them back in the cupboard. I think. What the hell is this one sitting over here? I found another. Oh, it's that one. That died. That died did a horrible died. -ed. <coughs> oh, I forgot as well. I've got some in other cases, haven't I? Um, it's really... The ones I'm going to definitely keep, I'm going to put back up there. This one's got to be repaired. No, actually, I'm not going to bother, because <coughs> I've just realised what brand of motherboard that is, and it's shit. <laughs> the processor and heat sink and everything can come off that, and anything else usable, and then the rest can go in a fucking bin. <coughs> <coughs> no, I'm not quite dead yet, so you've got to put up with me. <laughs> Surprised my lungs aren't on the floor yet. Back and forth, back and forth. Keep, keep. I can run Windows 7 on these boards, which is why I wanted to keep them. <coughs> Just for the extra Windows 7 projects and whatnot. Because I've got those, um... Uh, I think they're Asus cases. I think. Through there. So I'm still not sure if I want to keep this one. So I'm going to keep that out in the, uh... In the not sure pile. Here's another one. So, so far out of that lot, I've decided... I definitely keep four, five, six boards. That's not the best way to store them either. So uh, it's a case of do as I say, not as I do. <laughs> Ignore how I'm storing them. <clears throat> Unless you're just not too fussy like me. And you can store them how you like. But if you do want to, you know try to keep them, then don't store them like that. <laughs> right. This is going to be quite a long vlog, but I haven't done quite a long one for a while, so I will bring the definite for sale boards in here. Uh, and then I think I'll turn the camera off because uh, I'll need two hands to uh, drag PC cases around. So that's a death that I haven't made up my mind with those yet. Oh. 
these two here. If I can find processors to put on, well actually I know I haven't got processors, but I can include the heat sink. Um, so I know I've got several um, AMD heat sinks. I haven't got a friggin' clue about this one. A P4 socket on it. Or Celeron, something along that lines. Where is it? Socket 7... 8, 8, I believe that says. 4, 7, 8. Uh, I'm reading it upside down. It's an HP board. That's no good to me. <clears throat> oh, 478B. Uh, I know I've got several sort of half charged um, clock batteries kicking about, so I'll put those in as well. I haven't got bloody use them for anything. You get them cheap enough anyway. Right. So I think that's the bed mostly cleared again, isn't it? And we've got the, um, the uh, I don't know pile. I really don't know. Um, like I said, I'd know the boards work. I did last time I plugged them in. I will set something up tomorrow and double check. Um, that'll probably be the easiest way to find out what the processors are on boards like this. So I will, I'll just um, set the monitor up on the table in the lounge and grab a could use that power supply actually, that'd save one, save me digging one out of a wardrobe if it's got the right size jack because, uh, nope, that's a 20 pin, I want 24 that doesn't have the bit that clip on the end, does it, the extra? nope <sighs> bollocks unless one of the other cases in the kitchen have got one in then that means I'll have to dig one out of the cupboard <coughs> I think it'd be easier to sell them as parts rather than the whole case anyway. I don't feel like trying to post the whole computer case. That and I can't print off carrier um, labels at the moment either because I still haven't got ink for the printer. Got a printer but I ain't got bloody ink. Glad I am feeling better. Hundred oh, percent, that I am. Um, the last thing um, I'll mention while I think of it, my um, my guy on Facebook who gets me the odd loose lot of Lego and um, has got a couple of Lego sets for me. Uh, lot lost his grandfather I think yesterday so not sure when he'll um, feel up to posting those out but I have already told him you know just take your time don't rush don't worry about it <clears throat> I'm not in no rush to get them you know it's not like I need them as a for a birthday present or something like that so in his own time whenever he feels like he wants to walk down to the post office or However he gets there and post it, it's up to him. <clears throat> Cause, uh, from his Facebook post, he was pretty close to his grandfather, so... Anyway, I'm going to shut the camera down. So, uh, thanks for watching. Bloody tape. If you liked the video, hit the like button. If you didn't, hit the dislike button. It's up to you, your choice. And uh, if you haven't subscribed, then click the clap on that subscribe button, please. Much appreciated.
And, you know, if you've got any comments or anything, leave them in the comment section below. And, uh, until... <clears throat> try again. And um, I'll talk to you in the next video. Bye.